Because plugins don't control the look and feel of a WordPress site, if you need to make use of custom CSS or JavaScript, you need to follow a process called enqueuing. In order to add custom CSS or JavaScript, a WordPress plugin needs a way to add a script or style tag to the HTML being rendered at any time. Fortunately, WordPress allows plugin developers to enqueue their plugin CSS or JavaScript so that, is, so that it is added at the right place in the HTML of any request. In this lesson, you'll learn how to enqueue custom CSS and JavaScript on either the front end or the admin dashboard. As with most WordPress functionality, to start, you need to register a callback function on a specific hook and use the callback to enqueue your scripts or styles. The correct hook to use is the WP Enqueue Scripts Action Hook. As you can see from the documentation, despite the hook's name, it is used for enqueuing both scripts and styles. So start by registering the callback to the hook and creating the callback function. So WP Enqueue Scripts. And let's call our function bookstore. Enqueue scripts. Enqueue our function. Ready for code to be added. You can now enqueue your custom CSS or JavaScript. Let's target the book title on any given book on the front end and make it read. Go ahead and create an empty bookstore.css file in your bookstore plugin directory to be enqueued by your plugin. Inside that file, add the following code. Single book class, then we'll target the h1 tags, and we'll make them red. Anytime a single book is rendered, it will add the single book class to the body element of the HTML page. And so this code will change the color of any h1 tag inside that body tag to red. Now that you've created the CSS file, you need to enqueue it inside the bookstore enqueue scripts function. You do this using the WP enqueue style function. At a minimum, you need to pass in at least the first two arguments for that function. The handle, which is a unique name for the style sheet that's used when the style sheet is added to the HTML, and the source, which is the full URL to the style sheet, or a path of a style sheet relative to the WordPress root directory. In a plugin, you can use the plugin's URL function to get the URL of the plugin's directory, and then concatenate that with the path to your CSS file. So let's call the WP NQ style function, and we'll give it a handle, and then we'll call the plugin URL plugins URL function, and concatenate it with the <clears throat> path to the bookstore plugin file and the bookstore.css. During a WordPress request, this will add the style sheet handle and the URL to a WP styles object. When the HTML to be rendered is generated and WordPress is ready to output the head tag, it will loop through each style sheet in this WP styles object and output an HTML style element using the handle as the element's ID attribute and the source as the element's href attribute. With this CSS file enqueued, go ahead and browse to the single book view of any book you've added, and you should notice that the h1 element is red. You can also enqueue JavaScript files from your plugin using the same WP Enqueue Scripts action or callback. The only difference is that instead of using WP Enqueue Style, you use WP Enqueue Script. Similar to WP Enqueue Style, you pass a unique handle and source argument to WP Enqueue Script for it to enqueue your JavaScript file. First, create a bookstore.js file in the bookstore directory. And then add a simple JavaScript alert to it. Now, 
update the bookstore NQ script to NQ the bookstore JS file using WP NQ script. WP NQ script. Got a unique handle. And we can use the same URL, just this time targeting the JavaScript file. As with style sheets, WPNQ script will add the script handle and URL to a WP scripts object and output an HTML script element for each one using the handle in the ID attribute and the URL in the source attribute. With this script enqueued, browse to the single book view of any book you've added. And you should see the alert pop up on the page. You can also enqueue styles and scripts to the admin dashboard using the admin in scripts action instead of the WP in scripts action. Once you've registered the callback function on the hook, the process of enqueuing scripts and styles is the same as for the front end using WP in style and WP in script. In the examples in this lesson, the bookstore CSS and JavaScript is enqueued on every page request of the site. This is not ideal. In the case of the CSS, for example, it's specifically targeting H1 elements on the single book view. So you don't need to enqueue the CSS for anything other than books. It is possible to perform selective enqueuing, where you determine the specific scenario when the file should be enqueued. For example, in the case of the bookstore CSS, you could use the getPost function to get the current post object. And then use that to check if the post type is a book. If it isn't, then exit the function and don't enqueue the stylesheet or script file. There are a number of other ways to make sure that your plugin stylesheet or script files are only loaded where needed. Doing this means that your plugin won't add any unnecessary overhead or loading times to any WordPress site it's installed on. 